We previously showcased CAE-specific direct modeling and meshing technologies for 3D solids. The same technologies can be applied to surface models, such as this aerospace bulkhead. The mid-surface extraction allows me to quickly perform mid-surfaces from the solid. In order for me to connect the surfaces, I can use the vertical edge drag tool. Using this tool, I can interactively drag vertices into place, or I can drag an edge to another edge. If numerous surfaces can be connected, MSC Apex features a specialized tool to speed up the process. I'll first measure the largest gap between the edge and the surface. The Auto Extend tool will let me connect all these surfaces in a few clicks. I use the measurement from before and after performing the operation. And as you can see, now all my surfaces have been connected. This contrasts the traditional process of clicking numerous options, going through various forms, and creating additional construction geometry. Some of these surfaces must be split to reflect the varying thickness of the solid, so I use the Surface Split tool to easily make the cuts. Then I'll drag these vertices to finish the splits. Once I mesh the model, the element quality check visually tells me where the pore elements are located. Beyond repairing surface models and meshing them, MSC Apex features model attribution. Here I'll quickly define a linear elastic material and assign it to this part. A behavior details the behavior of the surface discretized model. Like before, this section behavior is assigned to this part. I should note that all of these assignments may be viewed in the model browser. A quick look shows material and behavior properties. You will notice from the original model, numerous unique thicknesses must be accurately attributed to the surface mesh. In addition, appropriate offsets must be defined. The Section Thickness tool allows me to automate the process of defining such thicknesses and offsets. A quick selection of the surface and solid automatically produces the thickness assignments as indicated by this visual display. When we look at the assignments again in the model browser, you will notice the dozens of section properties that have been created as a result of the auto thickness mapping. Then, as a last step, I can export this model with its mesh, materials, and section properties to the familiar BDF file format. Thanks for watching.